Hello everyone, I'm Brock, the Curly Man behind Curly Man's Comics. And today I'm going to be showing you how I pack my boxes to send off to CGC. Alright, so I'm getting kind of slim on the amount of CGC comics I have even to send in. So I only have sending in three right now. So I don't need too big of a box. I'm just reusing an Amazon box that I have. And then I like to get these priority mail, flat rate envelope mailers. I'll show you what I do with those. And then I just have a normal uh, bubble package. This is a reused one from Amazon, but if you want to get a bubble envelope, that's fine. And then I have some bubble wrap. I feel like pretty much everyone has some bubble wrap somewhere around their house. I think this is probably from different packages that I bought online, just hanging on to it also. So, tuck some bubble wrap into the bottom of the box, just like that, even it out a little bit more. Okay, it's got the bottom line, and then, so what I do with these, uh, comics in the bags, I like to really board them up so they're in there nice and tight. They're not gonna be wiggling around too much. This is my first time mailing off one that I already had slab. You can try and get it cracked, bump up that 9-2, but if not, whatever. So I'm gonna use this bubble mailer for that, but let's get on to the ones just bagged and boarded. So what I'll do is I have these envelope flat mail, uh, priority mail packages, and I'll cut the edge off just about an inch, and I'll slide that over so then I can put one inside of another just to add that extra layer of protection. So we'll slide this in, see how it fits. Maybe just a little bit of space left. I like to keep it in there fairly tight. Peel and stick. If I can figure it out. Seal that one up. And then put it inside of one that I haven't cut. Do the same thing. They might not fit perfectly. Looks like this one I did right. But otherwise you just grab some packaging tape I got over here and just tape it up. Just throw this stuff on the ground. Remember when you're shipping off to CGC, they wanna have them all in there in a certain order. So I did this kind of the opposite way. But this fits perfectly right inside this bubble mailer. And I ripped the top off obviously, so it doesn't fit perfect, perfect, but it's good enough for me. I already have the package already bubble wrapped. I'm just gonna tape it shut, just to be safe that it's not falling out, but I don't really see that as happening. Then I've got one more of these, bag them up, add all those extra boards in again. Then we just repeat the process. Slide this in, not too much room left over. Peel and stick. And I'm, it's basically just adding as much protection as you can. Especially if you're shipping off some of your favorites, they're staying in your PC, or even if you're looking to resell your comics, you don't want them getting damaged on the way there. Such a disappointment, like if you order a package and it comes in damaged. So this one needs to be on the bottom. These two need to be on top to be in the correct order. So then I just put them in one at a time. And fit it around the edges. Oh, might be a little too tight. We're just gonna try one layer here. This one next. Nice and packed in there. But it's got all that protection in case the corners get banged. That's what the bubble wrap is for. Some of this extra bubble wrap. Don't worry about being, this isn't the time to be cheap on your packaging. I wanna have it nice and safe in there. That looks pretty tight, but just to be safe, I'm gonna add in one more layer. You can buy this stuff for 
Seems like miles of it for like a dollar. Okay. Fold it up. Oh, yep. Yeah. Don't want to forget. Sorry about that. CGC asks you to put your printed receipt basically in with it. on there. And then again, kind of the same thing with the tape. I'm not going to spare any of it. all of the edges and then something I found out is I used to always ship these off as a USPS in a flat rate box but USPS kind of likes to trick you in a way into paying for their most expensive shipping options so it's actually cheaper ship station is a good way to go they have a free 30 day trial for any email address. So if you want to just keep making up new emails, you can do that. But flat rate is going to be about 15. And if you're just doing a priority mail slip, it's only going to be about $10. So there we go. All taped. Can't even hear anything. Oh, I'll get some not on the tape, but you can't hear anything shaking around in there. Nice and tight. And that's how I pack up my comics to send off to CGC. So far, I haven't had any comics come back damaged, so I'm pretty sure it's working well. As always, I'm Brock, Curly Man from Curly Man's Comics, signing off.